Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the bot manager activities. So first we'll learn how to create a queue. A queue is a storage bucket where we can store large amount of data. The queue that we'll be creating will hold the data of 50 different cryptocurrencies such as name and price. So after we uh, create the queue, we can use this site crypto.com slash price. We will return the window using the get window activity. Then we will extract this table. This table holds the uh, details of uh, 50 different cryptocurrencies such as name, price uh, and market cap. And then uh, we will extract this table using the extract data table activity. Then we will loop the, through the data table. Then we will add the name and price of each cryptocurrency as a queue item to the uh, queue uh, we, that we have created initially. So let's uh, first start off by creating a queue. Uh, let's add a queue. So let's give the queue name as test crypto queue. And I'll give the time spent on each transaction as two minutes. And the hourly dollar rate, I'll give it as one. The description could be demo queue. So here the auto retry, uh, I'm going to set it as no uh, because I don't want any queue items to be retried if there is uh, uh, any error. So here if there is, uh, if we can set it to yes. If, so if we set it to yes, then if there is an error for any of the queue items, then it will be retried and then we can specify the number of times it should retry. So here I'm just going with no and then I'll click on save. And we can see uh, here our, uh, Q, our uh, queue has been created, test crypto queue here. So this is the queue that we created, test crypto queue. Now let's move to studio and I'll drag and drop the cat window activity. So this is the window that I want to it to return. So I'll click on select window and I'll select the window Chrome top 50 uh, cryptocurrency prices and I'll click on select and then on the edit element selector I'll click on OK. So I'm using the get in, uh, window activity to return this uh, window since it's already open. Uh, I once I run the sequence, I don't want to open the this website using the open browser since it's already open. I'll just return the window. All right. So next, I'll drag and drop the extract data table activity. You click on configure. So on, it's asking us to select an element. So I'll go ahead with the first element. Then there's a pop-up saying you have selected a table cell. Would you like to extract the data from the whole table? I'll click on yes. And then next pop-up, build the selector for root element of data source. I'll click on OK. Now on the next window, edit element selector. I'll click on OK. So there is a preview uh, of the data table that it has extracted. Uh, so here it shows the details of the uh, 50 different cryptocurrencies which is the same as the ones shown in the on the website. So here you can see there are 50 of them and its details. Yeah, so we can go ahead and click on finish. All right, now we need to, okay, the output will be in the uh, data table format. So, and it will be assigned to var data. Now we need to loop through this data table. For that, I'll drag and drop the for each. So we are looping through the var data data table. So we we'll loop through that and each row item will be var item. All right. So here I'll drag and drop the add transaction item. And uh, I'll also drag and drop the build dictionary before that. So I'll first explain the add transaction item, then we'll come back to the build dictionary. So here, uh, the, this is the step to add the uh, name and price, name and price to the queue. 
So for that we need to add uh, use this activity add transaction item. So here in the input field we need to provide the queue name. So our queue is test crypto queue. All right. So here the deadline and postpone uh, options are uh, optional. So here th this deadline is the validity uh, period of each queue item. So after a certain period, it can it will be expired if we give the day, uh, date, uh, yeah, of the uh, date time, and then here the postpone is a similar way. So here, uh, if you want a certain queue item to be processed after a certain period, then we can postpone that particular queue, uh, queue item by giving in the date time. So yeah, so the for now we'll just go with the queue name and the reference now for as for the reference what we will do is since we are looping through this var data uh, our each row is var item now the our reference is var item of name so the reference will be var item of name that will be the reference of each queue item and as for the transaction information that is why we have a build dictionary over here. Now we each for each run it will build a dictionary so now in the build dictionary uh, we will click on the three dots and click on add and given price as the key and the value will be var item of price. Click on save. So for each run, after looping through this uh, var data uh, data table, for each run, uh, the var item uh, var name will be the Q, uh, var name var item name will be the reference for each Q item and the transaction information will be var dictionary that is the price uh, so here we have given the key as price and value as var item price so each time it will build a dictionary and uh, the transaction information will be the price that is this uh, dict var dictionary that we have created at this time all right and the add transaction item uh, adds an item to the queue which is used to start a transaction all right now let's click on save all and before we run the sequence we'll just uh, see the queue here you can see in the uh, in the pending column you can see it's zero now once we run the sequence Let's check our queue and we'll refresh the queue. Here we can see in our let's go to the next page. Yeah, test crypto queue. We can see the pending is shown as 50. Initially it was zero, so it has added the items to the queue. Now let's click on view. Here you can see the reference. Uh, since we gave the reference as var item name, it has listed out the names of each of the cryptocurrencies as reference. So here we give the reference as var item name and the transaction information for each of them uh, is the price which we have given, uh, which we used as a dictionary as a key value pair. And uh, yeah, so that is the uh, transaction information for each of the key items. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.